Muawiya dies. Muawiya was getting older day by day and at the age of 75 he became seriously ill. He was nearing death. He lay weak and lifeless as if something was choking and strangling him. He felt tortured and tormented and continuously cried for mercy. He was in terrible pain and he wanted to die but death would not come close to him. His conscience tormented him for the calamities that he brought upon the Islamic Ummah, especially Ahlul Bayt. Muawiyah suffered in agony for many, many days. His suffering continued until he breathed his last. And at the time of his death, the 30-year-old Yazid was nowhere near him. He had gone for fun on a hunting trip. Upon Muawiyah's death, Yazid, 30 years old, managed to impose himself on the people and become the Khalifa. Like his father Muawiyah, Yazid used all possible means like bribery, coercion, pressure, threats, and force to receive the people's acceptance of him as the legitimate ruler. Many people were worried threats to their lives and livelihood was too menacing and so they grudgingly and reluctantly gave in. But Imam Hussein السلام, and his family who practiced Islam in its true sense did not give in and as a true representative of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Al Hussein flatly refused accepting Yazid either as a Khalifa or a leader of Islam. And despite Yazid's intimidating military power, the Imam stood firm in his resolve and chose to challenge Bani Umayyah's authorities. Yazid commissioned Walid ibn Utbah, his governor over Medina, to ask for Imam Hussein's allegiance of loyalty, or else, upon refusal, his head. Walid invited Al Hussein to a meeting for the purpose. Imam Hussein did not give his word at the meeting and decided to leave Medina along with his family to proceed to Mecca. When Al Hussein reached Mecca, he received 12,000 letters from Kufa urging him to go to Kufa to be their leader and be the Khalifa. Imam sent an emissary, his cousin, Muslim ibn Aqil, to Kufa to ascertain first hand information about the situation in Iraq. In the meantime, Yazid spread a network of informants and secret agents in Mecca to assassinate the Imam during pilgrimage. Imam Hussein also knew that giving allegiance of loyalty to an imposter like Yazid would certainly place Islam at great jeopardy and therefore he decided to leave Mecca for Kufa to prepare for a confrontation with Yazid and his forces. Many friends and relatives urged Imam Hussein not to go to Kufa but he insisted on going. Imam Hussein along with his family, friends and companions began the journey toward Kufa, 1,100 miles in a long caravan in the blistering heat of summer.